All right, mussels in a spicy red sauce. Who doesn't love that? It's a great appetizer. First, we're gonna start with the sauce. That's all the stuff I'm gonna make the sauce with. But we're gonna do one thing at a time here. So first, take the pan, we're gonna put a little extra virgin olive oil in it, because that's what I do. I use extra virgin olive oil in probably just about everything. And uh, I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna take a little fresh ground black pepper. Oh, hit that subscribe button, there's the arrow. A little fresh ground black pepper there. That's about, I don't know, a teaspoon. Crushed red pepper to make it spicy. Listen, you see how much I'm putting in there? That's like a tablespoon. Cut back on that a little bit, unless you're a, a veteran of the spicy stuff. Canned tomatoes. I'm using whole tomatoes here. I don't know why I do that. I just, I just think it's better, so that's how I do it. Some basil leaves, fresh basil leaves off the little plant I had in the kitchen. I would've used more, but I got tired of picking off those little leaves. Um, inside a quartered uh, onion, that's just a yellow onion, and that's a heaping tablespoon of garlic. How many cloves is that? I have no idea, but it's not enough. I love garlic. And a pinch of salt, I always use uh, kosher sea salt. But that right there is an excellent little sauce for this dish. So we're going to give it a quick stir and uh, get that puppy ready for the stove. Uh, you can use a jar of sauce if you want, you don't have to go through all this. Uh, you can just spice up a jar of sauce, but I'm going to put it on the stove for, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. Medium heat. You see how that's bubbling? That's, that's perfect. And uh, there you go. Boom. So, ah, ah, steam. Almost killed my camera with that. But I'm going to throw in a little vegetable stock and um, just to, you know, loosen it up a little bit, get that sauce a little thinner when we finally put it together. Um, I would have put in some white wine too, but I was busy drinking the white wine uh, while I was making this, so I didn't have any to put in it, but I should add, you know, a quarter cup of red wine would be nice. Now we're going to make a sauce out of this mess. Stick blender, emulsion blender, hand blender, stick hand blender thing, I don't know what you call it, but that's what I use. And you come up with this sauce, and that's the color of a real tomato sauce, it's not really red, red, red. It's more orange, I guess. Um, let's get every little piece right there. And that's a nice, fresh, spicy sauce. Like I said, you might want to cut back a little bit on that crush red pepper. That was probably a tablespoon. <clears throat> you, you might want to go about half of that. Um, but there it is. Now the star, the mussels. These are cleaned, bearded, scrubbed, bathed, haircut, the whole nine yards. And we're going to put those into the sauce. Now this looks like I'm using a lot of mussels, and there's a reason for that. I am. Uh, when I was buying these mussels, I started a conversation with some stranger next to me, and we were talking, and the girl behind the counter said something to me, and I didn't know what it was, and I just said yes. Well, it turns out what she was saying to me, I had asked for about a pound, a pound and a half, which she had said to me, do you just want the rest? And I said yes, but I didn't know that's what she said. So uh, this is three pounds or so, maybe a little over three pounds, but I wasn't going to hold back, and this was supposed to be an appetizer. Guess what? Now, now I got three pounds of mussels in there, so instead of spending about you know six, seven bucks, which, like I thought I was going to, it's seven hundred dollars worth of mussels. So, and there they are. Now, right here, right now, they're perfect. You get that with a little crusty bread. That's a heck of an appetizer. That's really good stuff, right there. It's delicious. But because I spent so much money on it, um, now I came up with a plan B. So I cooked up a little rigatoni. Made a salad, some crusty bread, and that was absolutely delicious. That little bowl up on top there is for the shells, and there's so many mussels in this that uh, I actually had to empty that bowl a couple of times. Um, it didn't, it didn't hold all the shells. But there it is. That is absolutely delicious. It's so easy to make. You could use a jar of sauce if you wanted to, I guess. And add some fresh red pepper to it. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up share whatever's in your heart thanks guys